The purpose of this video is to share an exciting idea I had. This is intended for someone who is familiar with Git, uses it at least occasionally, but needs a free, secure, shared collaboration instance in the cloud. Unlike GitHub, this is unlimited, free, and private. In this presentation, we will demonstrate this technique on a Windows PC and on a Mac. It is assumed that you have some experience with Git. A link to install a GUI version of Git on Windows is code.google.com slash p slash msysgit. We will not explain Git or how to install it as part of this presentation. There are numerous resources on the web about Git like this one. The link to download and install Dropbox is bit.ly slash git underscore Dropbox. Dropbox is a very useful service and it's free. I know you will find many great uses for it beyond what we will show you here. In order to take full advantage of all Dropbox has to offer and to use the process outlined here, it is necessary to install the Dropbox desktop application. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Like so many great services available on the web, you simply need to create your free account and then are prompted to download the small application. The instructions provided are clear and correct, quite easy to follow. Now, in our Dropbox, which is an automatically synchronized storage space in the cloud, we need to create a folder for the Git repository. This is Windows. I will create a folder called Projects and one under that called Git Demo. This will be the place where the repository lives. Based on the operating system, for Windows, we are using Git Bash, which can be optionally installed with Git GUI. Navigate to the Dropbox folder that you just created. Here, we're taking advantage of Git's file-based access. On a Windows system, the default is C, Users, Username, Documents, Dropbox. And then into our projects and Git Demo. Issue the Git bear command to establish a clean new repository. The command is git space dash dash bear space init dash db. Using the Dropbox web interface to navigate your Dropbox account, you should see the familiar set of files and folders that represent a Git repository. This folder can be shared with any collaborators who need access to this repository. You do that from this web interface. Now, back in our shell, let's make a folder for the project we want under version control. Navigate there and issue the git clone command. Note that the very last parameter will be the name of a new folder for your project files. That warning is expected. You have cloned an empty repository. 
the one we initialized earlier. Go into the folder where your code will be. Add a git remote for the Dropbox repository. We called it git demo just to add a little more confusion. Time for a test. Here we simply create a file and ask Git to add it to be tracked. And now commit and push using the remote name we assigned. Because Dropbox is in the cloud, it takes a little time to synchronize. Remember to be patient. All users who are listed as shared in Dropbox will get a notification of changes. That's a neat bonus. For anyone else who will work on this repository, the steps are much simpler. Here we demonstrate with a Mac just for variety. The Mac is a good representation of how it works in Linux, too. It is important that this user A has Dropbox installed, B has been listed as sharing the repository folder, in our case projects slash git demo. Note that Dropbox sharing permits us to reference the folder directly and not reveal its true path. See this is displayed to the collaborator simply as git demo. On the collaborator's machine, a folder must exist for the project. For illustration purposes, we are using code, and we will clone the Git repository into a new folder, C project. After issuing the git clone command, we change directory into the C project folder and verify we have all the files from the Git repository. The collaborator will add some text to the empty readme file. Use colon x to save changes in Vim. Stop using wq. And commit the changes to the git repository. Next, a push will change the remote repository that lives in Dropbox. The Dropbox update message confirms the change for all collaborators. Rinse, repeat with as many collaborators as you wish. As the creator of the repository, you can control shared access within your Dropbox. This is free, private, but still can be shared and lives in the cloud, where the data is regularly backed up and has its own version control, which is a bit redundant. Thank you for watching. Please share this freely. Here are some reference links 